Uh, so to start with, I'm Sampriti Bhattacharya. I'm a PhD candidate at MIT working with Professor Hari Asada on underwater robots. And this is my robot, uh, EV. It's called Ellipsoidal Vehicle for um, Inspection and Exploration. A girly name, but I like it. Um, so the idea is uh, came from the fact that we wanted to inspect really cluttered environment, cluttered and complicated environment. Think. Um, two examples I would bring in. Uh, think of a boiling water reactor vessel where it is very cluttered, a very complex geometry, and you cannot have a tethered robot that goes in because they are prone to snagging. So, and the second problem is that uh, visual inspection is often not enough because um, you cannot see hidden cracks and crevices. So, what the, we wanted to have is some robot that can do in contact ultrasonic inspection. The second example is a very uh, interesting one that I would like to give is in port security. So a lot of uh, controlled substances get uh, brought into the country through smuggling and in fake hull chambers. That is, it is connected to your real ship hull and you cannot visually say, uh, see it. Or in a towed submarine uh, with a ship, which they cut off the tow when you are like, you know, near the coast and they see a coast guard. So what is necessary in those cases is like, well, very fast surveillance and inexpensive methods and probably stealth mode inspection. So, uh, you know, keeping those in mind, we came up with an idea of a tetherless, appendage-free, a robot that can go in a complicated environment, maneuver swiftly, and most importantly, do on-contact inspection. That is, this thing can go underwater, stick on a surface, and move and skim along a surface. And as you can see that this is very smooth, there is like no appendages or prop propellers on it. So basically, this is ideal for like a stealth mode inspection kind. Um, to start with this idea developed a couple years back as a 5DOF robot that moves in free state, but uh, as we understood that, you know, just visual was not enough, so, you know, uh, we developed jets, procedure, uh, jets and so on, so that pressure jets that can, like, enable it to stick to a surface and move along with it. So that's... Uh, more or less the idea of it, it's uh, the technology that it uses is fairly simple. It's a bunch of pumps and uh, our initial prototype is like just 3D printed and in my own lab. And yeah, it's been fun working on it. And if you want to know more, uh, you can contact us at Durbelov Lab at MIT. Uh, thank you very much.